Don't be silly, Billy. All the engines on the Fat Controllers Railway are proud of being really useful. Gordon likes being the best express. Percy likes pulling the mail trucks on time. And Thomas likes being given a special special. One morning, Thomas arrived at Brendam Docks. He was excited. Today, I am to look after a new engine, tooted Thomas. That's a special job, my arty, smiled Salty. Here he is. The new engine was shiny orange and puffing with pride. I'm Billy, whistled the new engine. Let's go. Wait, Billy, tooted Thomas. We can't go yet. We have to wait for the Fat Controller. Why? huffed Billy. Because he tells us what we are to do, whistled Thomas. Billy didn't want to wait for the Fat Controller. He wanted to go. The Fat Controller arrived. Billy, he boomed, you have a very busy day. Billy beamed. First, you must take empty chicken vans to the farm and bring the chickens back to the docks. Then you are to deliver diesel fuel to the quarry. And lastly, you have to take coal to the depot. Yes, sir, bubbled Billy happily. Right away, sir. Thomas, you must show Billy how to be a really useful engine, added the fat controller, and he left. Billy... Thomas steamed. You must pull the chicken slowly and smoothly. I know that, sighed Billy. He pumped his pistons impatiently. Don't pump your pistons before you're ready to leave, whistled Thomas. It wastes coal and water. Billy puffed and huffed. And first, you must take on enough coal and water for a busy... Thomas, huffed Billy. Stop telling me what to do. You are a very bossy engine. And Billy raced off. He thinks you're a bossy boiler, me arty, laughed Salty. Thomas didn't like being called bossy. He had promised the Fat Controller he would look after Billy. So Thomas chased after him. Thomas was pleased to find Billy at the farm. But Billy wasn't pleased to see Thomas. Billy... You must take on coal and water. Don't tell me what to do, Thomas, huffed Billy. You are a very bossy engine. And Billy steamed off. Silly Billy, you've forgotten the chickens, Farmer McCall called. Bother, Billy, wished Thomas, and he chuffed quickly off towards the quarry. Thomas was pleased to find Billy at the quarry. But Billy wasn't pleased to see him. You didn't pick up the chickens, puffed Thomas, and you still haven't taken on coal and water. Stop telling me what to do, Thomas, huffed Billy. You are a very bossy engine. And Billy steamed off. He's forgotten our oil, wheezed Mavis. Thomas was worried, and he raced off quickly for the depot. Thomas was pleased to find Billy at the depot. But Billy wasn't pleased to see him. Billy had backed up to heavy trucks of diesel oil. They need diesel oil at the quarry, not the depot, said Thomas. And you still haven't taken on coal and wool. Stop telling me what to do, Thomas, huffed Billy. You are a very, very bossy engine. Billy steamed off without the diesel oil. Thomas was worried and he chased after Billy. Thomas was pleased to find Billy at the coaling plant. He was backing his trucks under the hopper, but he didn't see Percy there, and he biffed him right under the hopper. Percy was covered in coal from funnel to footplate. Watch out, silly Billy! Percy peeped. 
Oh no, tutored Thomas. You must be careful when you roll under the hopper. And you must take on coal and water now. Thomas, huffed Billy, stop telling me what to do. You are a very bossy engine. Thomas was very unhappy. He didn't want to be called bossy anymore. Do whatever you want, Billy, he wished. This made Billy very happy and he raced off. Suddenly Billy stopped. He had run out of coal and water. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. I haven't taught Billy to be really useful at all. Thomas shunted Billy to the water tower and Billy's firebox was filled with coal. I know you think I'm a bossy boiler, tutored Thomas, but I've done all these jobs before. I can help you. Then no one will call you a silly Billy. So together, Billy and Thomas collected Farmer McCall's chickens and took them to the docks. Then they delivered the diesel oil to Mavis and Diesel at the quarry. And lastly, they delivered coal to the depot. Thomas was very tired. Goodbye, Billy, he chuffed. The fat controller will be very pleased you finished all your jobs. Thomas started to puff away. Thomas, bubbled Billy. You're not a bossy boiler. You're a really useful engine and I really enjoyed working with you. Thomas felt very happy. Billy wasn't a silly Billy anymore. And Thomas had made a really good friend. <laughs>